Welcome to McGunn Media. In this short video, we're going to be showing you how to style bacon. So the first thing about bacon and styling bacon is where to purchase it from and what to get. Obviously, if you're looking for bacon in the supermarket, you're going to be purchasing a very thin bacon. Um, which is why we go to our butchers, our local butchers, and buy bacon from there. Um, because then I can guarantee the thickness of the slices um, and they're all going to be uniform. Um, the other thing that I look for when purchasing bacon is the fat to bacon ratio, the fat at the, the end here. If I can get a little bit of fat but not too much, that's ultimately what we're looking for when looking for bacon to style in food photography. And look at those, I mean, wow, beautiful, right? Okay, so the other thing is, is that when you're uh, styling bacon, you need to know obviously what sort of setting that you're gonna be styling it in. If you're styling for a breakfast shoot, for breakfast bacon, you'll notice that most shots that you come across will have this deliciously um, wavy bacon. And that there is pretty much what you will see in most photos. Now, the difference here is that this is done in an oven rather than those that are done in a frying pan, which will often come out flatter um, with a lot more, well obviously this is a, a, a cooked a, a little bit longer um, to get the, the edge crackle, but as you can see the edges there, although they're wavy, they're not uniform in their wave and sometimes you can't control in a frying pan the darkness or the burnt edges that happen very quickly. Whereas in an oven, you can very quickly control and see a uniform cooking and a uniform color across the bacon. So in order to uh, style or to achieve this wave, you can put in your oven with your grill pan, I have one here, a way of molding your bacon across it. Now this is a real thing. Uh, by using strips of aluminium foil and putting them across your pan, literally you don't need to be fussy with this. Just scrunch it up, put it into the pan, and then you take your bacon and you can lay your strips of bacon across those aluminium rolls. And what will happen is that when you put it in the oven, the bacon will heat up and sink into the areas that aren't on your aluminium rolls and they will form those lovely waves for you. And obviously, you just keep an eye in, on your oven as you're cooking them to make sure that they're not being uh, overcooked or burnt. Sometimes, uh, if you put it on for 10 to 15 minutes on a low heat, watch it dip in. And then if you want a little bit more brown, turn it up a little bit or just uh, leave it a little bit longer in the oven. But obviously, after 10 minutes, just watch it very carefully to make sure that the edges don't get burnt. And then that is how you create wavy bacon. In this time-lapse video, we're gonna show you how we achieve the setup for the bacon photos. In this setup, we were using the pan-fried bacon as we wanted a far more rustic look with a lot of texture. So breadboard and slate provides the texture and um, background for the pan-fried bacon. As you can see in the set, we have empty cups there. All cups or things that require liquid placements get put in afterwards. So those are just a fill in. We mark the places with blue tack and then pouring of liquids happen off set. This makes sure that the set isn't uh, 
compromise with drips or dribbles from, from liquids, either wine, coffee, anything that gets poured or needs to have uh, liquid in them. And here we're just arranging the set for various different setups to see what will work best for us in a, in a variety of formats and changing out cutlery to see what looks better. And so here were the resulting shots. If you liked this video, please leave us comments in the comments box below or hit our subscribe button so that you can see new videos as and when they come out.